Welcome to ABCD. Today, we'll be solving another math question. The figure below is drawn on a 12cm square paper as shown below. Its outline consists of a rectangle, a large semicircle, and two identical smaller semicircles. What is the parameter of the figure and what is its area? So for this question, I didn't use the print mode, so there's a missing square here. So there should be a square here. Okay, so yeah, just adding it back to square. Mm, so for this question, okay, I'll first annotate on the paper. So what do we know? We know that there is a few different arrows there. We can name it as one. 2, 2, because they are the same, 2, identical semicircle, and 3. Okay, so we, we then also know that this is 12. Okay, so with this, we will first find the parameter. So what does the parameter consist of? For area part 1, this is part A. For area part 1, it will be equals to um half the parameter of the full circle. So it will be half pi. Diameter will be 12. Because this is a square, so it's 12 by 12. Okay, so this will give me 6 pi. Okay? Because it's just um this side. So it's a half. Okay, then for number 2. Number 2, if you realize, right, is 1, 2. If I have a half a circle and half a circle, they sum out to be 1 full circle. Ah, so we can just get um pi d. Okay, so if you realize, right, I can fit 2 semicircles. Um, see, I can fit 2 semicircles. On one big circle. What does this mean? This means that it's the 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 radius of the big circle equals to the diameter of the small circle. Ah, get it? So this is the trick that we are going to use to solve this question. Okay, so it'll be twelve over two. This one will give us 6 pi. Okay, number 3. The diameter will just be the 2 height. Correct? The height. Okay, so if you take a look at this side, uh, this side, right, is 12 cm. We know this is the radius of the big circle, which is 6. Correct? This is the radius of the small circle, which is 3. Then what is this? 12 minus 6 minus 3 gives you 3. Uh, so the, the this particular number 3 will be will have a height of 3. La. So you know it's 3 plus 3. And this will give us 6. Okay? So if I then sum out everything together, okay, the diameter will be um 1 plus 2 plus 3 here, which is 6 pi plus 6 pi plus 6 and this will give me 12 pi plus 6 okay how about b okay we are going to use the same logic as what we used just now so for number one we will need to calculate half pi r square because diameter is 12 radius will be 6 so this will give us 18 pi. So for this, we know that previously we calculate a full circle, right? Because two semicircles is one full circle. So we can just use pi r squared. So give us 9 pi. Okay. Then for the third one, we know that uh, the diameter for number 2 is 6. Or the radius of number 1 is 6. So it will be 6 times 3. And this will give us 18. 
So 1 plus 2 plus 3 will then be, will give us 9 pi plus, sorry, it should be 18 pi first. So 18 pi plus 9 pi plus 18. This will give us 27 pi plus 18. Do you get this answer? So this is answer for part B, this is answer for part A. Okay, I've leave everything in pi, but if let's say your teacher don't allow you to leave in pi, right? You can just type this into the calculator. Pi is um either 3.14 or 22 over 7, or your calculator pi, it all works. So you can convert this to a numerical number. Lah. Uh, but some teachers allow you to put in pi, so this one you need to check with your teacher's preference. But not everything you can put in pi because this one you can put in pi because um the pi is actually very nice, like 27 pi. Not like you know um 1.225566 pi. You see? So this is a very nice number, that's why um I feel it's okay to leave in pi. But some teachers do prefer students to do it into the um absolute number because um for consistency purposes lah. That's it for this episode. We hope that you have learned something new. The link to the worksheets are available in the description below. See ya!